All right, burger. Actually, I was going to say burger number. Is it four or three? What? All right, burger number four. I'm at Studio East for the Purple Elephant Thai Burger. Uh, really cool spot. I've never been here before. It's been here for quite a while. We actually had to wait in line. It's really, really popular. Anyway, we got some hors d'oeuvres, uh, some appetizers, and a few other things we'll show you. Really looking forward to this one. Very, very unique. All right, got some potato dumplings. These look really yummy. Very good. Potato -y. Comes with hickory sticks. Homemade hickory sticks. Good. It has arrived, the purple elephant Thai burger. Nice presentation. Here is what's in it. It is, uh, I can't even friggin' read. Ube steam bun, grilled beef patty, fried chicken, Thai barbecue sauce, kefir or kefir, kefir, lime, aioli, jungle, slaw, sesame, and cilantro. Uh, half the things I can't even pronounce, but anyway, let's give it a try. Let's <laughs> inside it. The purple elephant chicken Thai burger. Thai chicken burger. Oh my god. Here we go. Very good. It's crunchy, the chicken. Sesame barbecue sauce. This is exceptional. You can, tell, you can really taste the Thai, Thai barbecue sauce. Cilantro. All right. Purple bun. I've never had a burger with a purple bun before. It's really good. My photographer's telling me I have stuff on my face. And with the purple bun, they're more than likely I got purple stuff in my teeth. All right. I've been fortunate enough that each one of my burgers have had its own uniqueness. Um, this one certainly is um, one of those very unique buns. I've never had anything like this before. Here we Parmesan fries. Nice and crunchy. These are really good. I really smell the sesame Thai um, barbecue sauce. Good. Right, it is uh, an ubi steam bun and it gets its color because it's a purple yam. So really spongy and it's sticky and it gets everywhere. Mm. Right, check it out. One great thing about this place is everything's made from scratch and you can really taste uh, taste the homemadeness, taste the love in the food. Uh, this burger has a lot going on, so it's kind of hard to really pinpoint a lot of the different flavors. The thing that mostly stands out is the, uh, the Thai barbecue sauce. It really smells very fragrant. All in all, this burger is really good. And for 19 bucks, I think out of all the ones I've had, uh, definite bang for the money, bang for the buck. And of course, proceeds to, uh, from this goes towards Feed Number Scotia. All right, burger number four is done, and so is this week of hamburger heaven. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing these videos. Um, it's hard to really pick the, the best one. I think this one, between this one and the one, uh, the Drift, the Drift, the Big Drifter, uh, both very different and unique burgers. So it's kind of hard to pick one. I think this is definitely a solid nine out of 10. And for 19 bucks with the fries, definitely worth it. This place is really cool. Come on down to check out Studio East on, uh, on Kennard Street. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Gone.